A new competition show premieres tonight on CBC, 8 p.m., called Canada's Ultimate Challenge. You can also watch it on CBC Jam whenever you want to. This show takes some of the most beautiful places in the country and turns them into obstacle courses that test competitors' strength, speed, and agility. One of the competitors lives right here in Winnipeg. I spoke with her this afternoon. Alana Warnick, thank you for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. Why did you want to put yourself out there and be on this show? Ooh, why did I want to go on Canada's Ultimate Challenge? Well, for me, growing up, sports has been a huge part of my life and has shaped me into the person that I am today and the career that I am uh, as a firefighter. So ultimately, at this age in my 40s, I was like, do I still have what it takes? Like, could I still do this and compete with other Canadians of all ages from all different walks of life um, and succeed and be successful in it? So for me, it was kind of like a do I still have what it takes? And that's what drove me to apply. Oh, that's amazing. And then doing it, you you are working with teams. There's a grand total of 24 Canadians, I guess six teams of four. How much is teamwork and friendship and stuff like that a part of the experience? That was a huge part of the experience. You, We literally met each other, we met our team, and you need to form a bond and a friendship very quickly and with our team we did. We uh, we all got along right off the hop, uh, understood each other very well and you, you need to build that team uh, camaraderie right off the hop or you know what, you'd be left behind, that's for sure. You needed to be able to trust each other, know each other's strengths and weaknesses and uh, it was a huge part was that, was that team connection. When I, I look at the video, I see stunning scenery. Where did you shoot this? Well, the competition, uh, it filmed everywhere from Whistler to Hinton, Alberta, Whitehorse, Yukon, Kelowna, BC, um, Sudbury. We go to uh, Quebec City um, and the Thousand Islands in Kingston and then, all at, and then ultimately on the East Coast. Is it as pretty as it looks? Was it? Oh my God, it was stunning. Like, I will never get to experience uh, our country like I got to and from the views that we got to experience them from that probably no other Canadian will experience them from because of the competitions that we got to compete in on and in the scenic uh, environment. It was a good experience shooting it? Oh, it was amazing. I mean, it's, uh, it's a whole other ball game uh, doing TV. It's really easy to sit at home and watching these shows, these reality shows and be like, hey, I can do that, you know? Oh yeah, I should totally be able to do that. And you, you get into the into the competition, and the nerves and the energies that are running through your body are unlike anything I have ever felt. And you just really have to channel that energy uh, and put it into the competition because that anxiety could easily take over uh, and affect your outcome in the competition. Mm. Speaking of anxiety, you are a firefighter with the Winnipeg Fire Paramedic Service. Are you nervous at all about what your coworkers and fellow firefighters are going to say? <laughs> Uh, no, they've been all very supportive um, of this so far, and they're just as excited to watch it with their families um, as I am to see it. I haven't seen it yet, so uh, they're all showing their support uh, in various different ways, calls, uh, in-person, texts, and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, but I know, too, though, if uh, an outcome doesn't turn out how I want it to be, I might get roused for a little bit, but that's all part of being on a team, so, okay, I'll take it. We only have a, a few seconds left, but you're planning a, a big watch party tonight to watch this. Who do you think your biggest fan's going to be? Uh, my biggest fan uh, will be my wife and my, my parents. Uh, my family is, is everything to me, has always been everything to me in my sports. Like my dad coached me growing up from a young age, um, and that's why I'm, I'm as competitive as I am was from my father. So it'll be so exciting to watch it with my mom, my dad, my brothers, um, my wife, who it usually supported me through being gone all summer um, and had a lot to take care of at home with our little boy, who unfortunately will not be able to be there tonight, but we'll watch it with him at home tomorrow. Um, and yeah, it'll be just amazing for my family to, to watch it and see it and experience it with me. Well, I uh, thank you for being with us. I hope you love watching the show as much as you loved competing in it. And uh, thanks for your time today. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me.